I'm going to bring it to a really old throwback. I forgot what episode we said it, but we're like, bro, remember when uh, China just sent a f***ing rocket or something like that <laughs> into space and they lost track of where it was and it was yeah. like, hey, that thing could land on top of you at any <laughs> minute or second. You never yeah. know. <laughs> I forgot where it landed, but luckily it didn't hurt anybody. Oh, but I was see, just like, it, it landed in the water. <laughs> no, no, no. It landed in on Earth. It landed it somewhere, but it was just like a deserted part. <laughs> Good oh, old no. Kentucky. <laughs> Somebody's backyard. There's a dead cow somewhere. <laughs> there was a f- ant colony, bro. That was just like working their little butts off. <laughs> oh. Something did. Hey, something did die when that landed. By the oh, way, something so. something did something die. Died. So again, yeah, of course, bacteria was consi- cut on consider, fire. Consider consider yourselves lucky for not being the thing that died. Happy Point New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Um, <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> gonna say hello welcome to the podcast no not that part i know oh, that part that's too dull of an intro that is too dull of an intro say something out of pocket i said out of pocket not cringe <laughs> well now when he puts that you have to do the fucking camera fucking uh, shake it. <laughs> bro it's new right, years when i'm editing you this fuck the, you yeah, yeah. welcome to oh it is huh yeah. welcome to another fucking episode by the time you guys see this happy fucking new years Oh right, yeah, dude. We're on the last few days of the of the month of the year, of the month oh, of the year of all of the above. I actually have plans for New Year's. I'm gonna go to my aunt's house. Apparently, we're gonna be having like they're gonna have like a I think a DJ is what she said. They have a family wow. party there, so I know. I invited like Jasmine. I invited Jasmine and Medea, so hopefully they're down or they're available so we can nice. go. That'd be fun. Um, and then I had some dude that um. Have I mentioned him? Texas dude. I'll just say Texas dude. Um, uh, he was like, what are you doing for New Year's? And I was like, why are you asking? Hmm. I will use this Not man you. for... Oh, I will use mind. this man for a car ride. That's all, uh, like, for me and Jazz and Medea like, to have a ride. Really do it. Nothing. Well, he's like, that's too bad. You sucking for New Year's. Oh, hell no. <laughs> that's it's, crazy. It's so early uh, in the episode. I hate you. I'm gonna have to oh, bleep well. that. Uh, that, oh, well. that part. <laughs> that part. I, it wasn't me. Last episode was you. Was it? Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. I, it was, I, I said, oh, I, I said, oh, even like, then, okay, I feel like no, I didn't have no, no, to, but whatever. Because you're like, it's okay. He has, he's going to mute it anyways. Like, it's like, <laughs> like you. Yeah, but that, was, but that was like, imme- I said one, I said that one word. And even then it was still like, um, <laughs> maybe, maybe no need to, you know, just did it to be safe. Anyway, welcome back to the podcast. <laughs> welcome back to another episode, you guys. Uh, <laughs> actually, uh, I was like, there was something, dude. So something's been popping up on my like, on my feet a lot lately, Born. and it's like, no, I'm not. That's Lee's Twitter. Okay, you're right. My bad. Yeah, I figured you, you were know, getting his retweets or something. Fuck uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> not oh, I yet. make sure I make sure not to retweet yeah, on yeah, the main. No, no, he doesn't no. retweet on the main. I don't yeah. like and I don't retweet on it. Wait. I'll look is I follow <laughs> gay people and a bunch of gay dudes like just random gay dudes they just repost gay porn every now and then so it's like okay mm. no matter how much I clean it like I said in one episode recently I have to just be following only straight dudes that are oh, yeah. prudish so they don't post or even like straight porn either I have a couple of straight friends on there that do repost some shit too I'm like oh I think it's the same they see it but they don't repost anyway yeah no. yeah probably I mean I like some shit pops up on my timeline here and there and I'm like yeah, but you don't repost her like it. <laughs> no, what the fuck? <laughs> and then you're in public, you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. Let me say shit. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm in public and, I'm, and I get it, I'm just, it's just like this, but just like this. But sometimes I'm just, when I open up Twitter, I'm like, oh. <laughs> just it's bring like, bring closer, closer to my chest. Yeah. It's like, it's like dims light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Privacy yeah, screens, bro. It'll save your life. It'll I know. Save your I, life. I need one, but I feel like that's just too, like, I do. I have one. It's not even for that. It's just I hate people like glancing over at my phone. I'm like, this see, has nothing then, to do with you. See, that's the thing is I don't have any like real issue with people doing that for the most part as long as I'm not doing that stuff. Like if people are gonna look at my phone while I'm like sending a text, it's usually never like, oh, uh, don't look at my message to my mom or dad or brother or friend. That, like if I'm with you and I'm texting someone about something, I. It's most likely about what we're talking about, or I would tell you about it because that feels just kind of weird. Does you having a privacy screen make you feel like then you are actually hiding something? No, 
that you're oh. not supposed to be doing? No, a really. little bit, a little bit. Like just, you guilt your children. It's, en- it's enough for me to think that somebody has something that they don't want seen. So I'm just like, oh, you can't. It makes me think like you're doing a little bit more shit on your phone than than like normal. You know, like I should have one because of like. I it, and I open Twitter. It could just be dicker ass on my my timeline. I'm, I'm gonna be real. So, like that, it could just be anything, anything inappropriate. So, I mean, it, to be fair, it's like if you glance over someone, some random, someone random's phone, some random person's phone, and you damn, that took me three times, <clears throat> and like you see, Not just straight out uh-huh. dick fuck dick slamming in someone, someone. It's like that's your fault. Like, don't be looking. That's what you get for fucking being curious. I don't even know if I wouldn't even I don't even know if I would be bothered to be honest or if I am bothered. I think it's also because I can be a nosy person. Biggest as we all nosiest have person like we know. Seen. Yeah, like the yeah, fucking nosiest. Dude. Like it's just that just happens. That's just how I am for the most part. I think um, that's where like I think our mindsets are like in play because because you're nosy. You're like, who cares if you look at my phone? Blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, I'm like, I'm a more private person. Not because I'm like, oh, I'm hiding anything. I just don't want, want, I don't like people getting into my shit. So I have the privacy screen specifically because I hate when I'm like on my phone or whatever. And then somebody just comes over and like, oh, what you doing? I'm like, nothing. Oh, see, I do that shit to Richard just to get him out. (laughs) That bothers me just because like on my phone, you just pop it. It just feels like it's a little too much in my space when you're near my phone like that. Well, I mean, if you're in my fucking bubble of space, like, I can fucking taste your breath. You, like, <laughs> step the fuck back. Like, I don't need you this close in my face. Yeah, yeah so that's what, that, you that'll hug. trip me out, which I get. But, yeah, I, like, I guess, yeah, if I, if I want to, like, put more thought into it or psychoanalyze it, then, yeah, I guess that would be, like, the overall reason. I think that's also why, like, sexual stuff doesn't bother me too much. Like, some people, I just, I think it's because I can be like that or have been. So... I don't, I don't know, know what Hy- hypersexual or nosy or have people oh. been nosy with me and it's it's just kind of like why be bothered by it but i get the nosy part because like i don't want people knowing my business I re- mm-hmm. we've all been around uh when i've had like a uh, a friend we had like a situation and then they kind of like posted it on like our group chat for the most part and like we had some people on there that we weren't super super close with that we were just getting to know. I say group chat, but I, I don't want to give too many details because then there are people that I think that do watch us that like know what I'm talking about. If I give too many is details, is it a current? Is it a current like just group tell, of friends that we still? Just tell no, us so I was, can do. It. I'll delete it. So when that situation happened, I was like, "Hey, not down with you kind of putting like saying that when we could have just talked about it. It doesn't need to involve a bunch of other people. That's more like my my business, our business. Like you know, like we can we can talk. We're adults. Not to say that if you how you want to share it makes you immature to me, but I feel like especially how I am when it comes to like certain things. Like just talk to me. You know, come up. To I me. think it's also oh." In cases like that, I think it's also just the being socially conscious, I guess, of how others can interpret things slash yeah. take oh, things. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's just be careful. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it besides yeah, some people just, just be careful. Yeah. Hence why some people have a privacy screen and some people don't. And some people should. Yeah, I think all people should. <laughs> I've worked in the phone company business for so long in my life that like everyone should just have one everyone's fucking disgusting i remember like, age age does not matter i know you've run into it too because of it but i remember like at target like having people come up to me like hey my phone's fucked up or something and <laughs> i open it to see what's wrong and it's just porn it's i'm just like straight like a porn spam like yeah. they they open up they open up like a porn a porn hub page and it'll open up like a, like a fucking separate link and then they just have a gang of them and it's like how much porn are you watching? <laughs> you know the funny ones? Uh, the funny I ones were like why the, they just don't close it. Why can't you buy it? The What's funny the... ones dude were the, the, like the older gentlemen who would like tab it. They were like Yeah well that's it. what I'm saying it's the old <laughs> it's always the older guys that's why they don't close it because boomers slash you dude, know all like of that you, older you generation is kind five of minutes? stupid. Yeah, you, you you beat it off to the first five minutes, and then you're done, and you save it, and then you come back to it, and it's just like you know, 
you never left right so it's like <laughs> they're, they're too dumb later <laughs> they're too dumb to kind of like know exactly what to do right away and just with tech in general so yeah you know they're like i don't know how to close it and then they're all they're like, doing oh, is you just know how to open slapping it. the screen or some shit and it's just like yeah it's like watching like a caveman you know <laughs> wait so what's on your yeah. timeline you never even fucking actually mentioned like what was on your timeline why the fuck oh well i mean it kind of leads into I, I was like what the fuck is that? my brother yelling at oh. dogs i think uh it kind of leads into it like on like talking about shit like that like where um um i've been getting this weird thing and it's like i'm not even like i'm way past like the sad side of tiktok like all the shit i get is like the stupid funny humor but every once in a while it has to be somebody who's on my timeline because you know how you guys said like the algorithm merges into others mm -hmm. it's 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 going around especially right now for new year's it's it they're calling it the let them theory have you guys seen that let them? i don't think so let them let them, let them. Let them. Yeah, let them. Like, let, let them or let them. I'm, no, let, I'm guessing the it's uh, let them like L E T and then the word them like got you. let them be. What the fuck you get? Let them. It sounds like you're saying it like that. Yeah, like, yeah. a little bit. That's why I asked yeah. you. That's why I was like, wait, it's okay. It's the right, whatever. Who cares? Uh, I'm guessing it's a uh, like let them if do they, their if thing they wanted to, they type would. of thing, right? Same kind of like so, that. Sorta. It, it's more like it, it like I guess it's it falls into like people's like resolution of wanting to change their like being of how they are. And it's more like the the way that people have been describing it, it's based upon like learning to just be like uh um just more an individual be just be more in uh yeah to become more of an individual to yourself and not rely on other people and it's like it falls like under friends family relationships whatever it is it's like it's like if, if someone doesn't want to hang out with you okay cool let them like that's there that's not you know like don't feed into that type of thing um and it's like basically for people like to like self-proclaim like their 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 self well uh, like worth again i think it's the <clears throat> it's the um i don't know if you guys have seen it me and me and Liv talked about it and i kind of i say it now off the cuff especially when we're when we're all hanging out i think you guys might have heard me say it a couple times um it's the stand up hashtag oh, I, stand up. i've I heard you, you say it. i heard oh, you no, say yeah. it but i thought it's it was just that, the yeah i just yeah. thought you were saying it. no it's uh it's a video on that tiktok where it's this girl basically just des describing a uh situation of somebody just kind of like getting on the floor and begging some some man to stay behind or somebody to stay oh, with them and it's yeah. like no, bitch, no, no. stand up what are you no, doing no. stand it, up it, it's huh. that that's not that that's like no no that's very different because this one's very like it, it's just very like key focus on like just going going into your mind space of like just let people be people and like don't worry about them like worry that's about why. you that's it's what, that's what i mean like, um, yeah because what i mean stand up is more like just kind of be your own person stand up be you like just do your own stand up on your own like don't don't bend over backwards for this person that one obviously is more on the spectrum of love and romance or whatever but i think overall like it's part of the blanket statement of let them i think it's the same thing yeah. i think but with the way that the, the with the stand up thing is just more of like um aggressive sort of do, like bitch do you go, don't like, like do better you like aggressive whatever. girl boss right exactly <laughs> yeah whereas i hate no i hate myself too sorry thank you it's kind of cringy whereas let them yeah. is just more of like a passive like eh let them it, it, it's a passive it is let what it, it is type of thing and honestly that's what i've been kind of living by like my whole life <laughs> at this well, point because yeah. i like yeah. what's it called that's why to bring it back to an older episode where you saw them their two dynamic as far as it went with the whole post of the not home oh, bullshit yeah. or yeah, like him going to home. san francisco and lee being like what the fuck are you gonna do there blah blah, blah. that's where my I, like i guess it, i show my let them like okay yeah because you're like bro let him do what he wants like who cares because at the but end of the day said, yeah. yeah like at the end of the day for me doesn't affect me doesn't affect you doesn't affect anybody but steve yeah let let him do what he wants and it's like i i, I need a privacy screen just for my life for lee it's like don't worry about <laughs> it dude just don't look my way <laughs> well i was gonna say he, that nosy. Feel, he even said in the episode the only the real reason why richard doesn't ask or doesn't go too deep because what he's just gonna get what i got and it's, he's just like 
What's the fucking point? It's just gonna well, piss me off well, anyway, so I'm not even gonna ask. Right. It's a little more different for him because it's like uh, Richard doesn't. It's it's not that he doesn't care, but it's like if it has nothing, like you mentioned, it has nothing to do with well, him. No, because it, there wasn't a time where I would ask you like, oh, what are you doing? Like, what's happening? Like, where did you? Where are you going? Who are you going with? Likely, it wasn't as aggressive. I will say that I was just more right. like, you know, oh, uh, what are you doing? And usually it, it ended up like how I said, where you just be like, nothing, just going out there, just doing the. And I was like, yeah, okay. And at, at that point, after so much time where I'm, I'm going to be straight up. There were times where you would tell me that turns out it wasn't the case. I was yeah. like, okay, well, what the fuck? Whatever. I, you know, it's like, this doesn't affect me, I guess. But I was just a weird thing to not mention. Yeah. But then I started thinking about, it, I was just like, like I said, I got to the realization slash mindset of whatever. Like he, he does what he wants. It's his life. As long as it's not fucking me over, fucking somebody else over, slash kind of causing harm to him also. Like, if you were doing some stupid shit, like going out and doing heroin or something, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? Obviously. But at that point, I'm like, I'm sure I would notice. Uh, but yeah, that's where the, the I agree with the let them. It's like, okay, as long as, you know, it's not involving me and affecting me in a negative way, I it's fine, whatever. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, but it's been popping up a lot, and I'm just like, it's so funny that these things always pop up or tend to pop up in people's timelines, like at the end of the year, because obviously people start doing their like resolutions, like I want to do this more, I want to do this, or I want to be this kind of person, and obviously that leads me to like my question is like, we're older, we're obviously a lot older now, we're not, we we don't have these like childlike minds of like. Oh, well, you know, like, well, it's, it's more of a reality check for us. Like we already know what life is for us, you know? And like, um, not necessarily that we're, we're limited to what we can do, but we know that if you don't actually fucking do something about it nothing gets done, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> or nothing will like come from it. So it's like, my, my question for you guys is like, do you guys still like try to like give yourself a sort of resolution? Not so much a resolution, more of a... No. Um, more of a, I think this is where I want to start leaning more towards type of thing. And each year has kind of been like that, where it's like, oh, you know what? I wish I had done a little bit more of this type of thing. And then I'll like implement things to get me to do that. You know, it's not like I'm going to be like, oh, this year I'm going to fucking, uh, I don't know what's like a common thing just work out and every fucking day type of shit or whatever right uh hey, what are you trying to say i don't know i'm just saying in general it's like some people's resolution people's a lot resolutions, of people's yeah. resolution is oh, i'm going to gym which by the way is so annoying for all the gym heads yeah sorry you're gonna have to deal with that for like at least so a month fucking annoying bro it's like uh, the end of february is usually yeah. like that it's so annoying well it'll get until fucking valentine's day and everybody stops because <laughs> They either go out with their significant other and just munch out. And or, they, or they get depressed. Uh, <laughs> um, but all I'm saying is, like, it's just, it's gotten to the point where it's just, you know, you you don't, I don't set goals for myself anymore. It's just more like, uh, or at least not short-term goals, whereas I'm like, I have to get this done this year. It's just more of like, a, evaluate where I'm at and then go from there. That's it. That's it for me. I don't know. The new yeah. year is just, you know, a a Just good a good checkpoint, I guess. Uh huh. Um, no, I don't put I don't do resolutions. Um, I have in the past, but I don't really do them. The most that I'll do for like achieving goals are very short term goals, sh very short term. Like something in my life always has to be happening that's kind of like semi-major that I, I have to like work towards or have to like deal with or whatever um i think it's because i'm constantly which isn't which this isn't a good practice and i'm aware of and i do i know and i do kind of go with the idea that humans have to change and some people do that by like actively moving a, a, to a new place every year people like Try to change up the routine every like every year, maybe not for New Year's, but it's good because humans evolve with change. We've evolved and we 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 thrive off change. It's good for us. It's good for survivability or whatever. Yeah. Um, 
and not changing usually just leads to stagnation stagnation usually just leads to death you know not like actually but <laughs> in the grand scheme of things in the world that's just kind of like what happens so i'm aware of like my lifestyle just me kind of just sitting still and just kind of just doing things that i'm comfortable with um and then the world has to like then i do something then the world's just like all right well here you go you know like you're finally like doing something here's like some actual like real life shit they have to do with i'm like ah oh, god damn it so I feel like that's just kind of its way of, of throwing shit at me. So I never really like go out of my way to like plan anything just because it feels like I don't do well with long term goals either. Like kind of like Richard, but I also just kind of like if I am working towards one and I end up not going through with it, I just don't eat like I'll tell people that that like get on the wagon, not like anything, any specific wagon, but just in general, like they get on the wagon and then they fall off. I'm very much like you could do it. It's fine. Missteps happen. Like I'm that kind of person. Um, But for myself, yeah, no, once I'm off it, then that's just like the most discouraging thing I can deal with. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm not even going to fucking bother. Why would do I even think, bother again? Do you feel like you like you, you set yourself up for failure or something? Um, Kind of, but also I don't really have anything in mind that I'm like actively wanting to work on like that because i think it's also because of that mindset like working out would be nice um eating better would be nice or like work you know learning a new tray or practicing more on piano or whatever like these things would be nice but it's always like the outer like the third party comments and stuff like that like because i think okay if i work out then i'm part of that that um that wave yeah. That people have to that people have get annoyed by and it's like, okay, I don't want to be what my friends are complaining about. If I start practicing piano, I don't want my parents to start commenting on it and then like I have to deal with like just this these new expectations that I and I don't want to deal with that. I get that. Or if I miss yeah. something that I that I had planned and I've been trying to keep a routine on it and I just don't want to do it, and then I end it ends up becoming a habit of like like I did with streaming. I took a break, that break's been never ending, you know? Like I was like, Oh, I just don't want to, and then it just becomes this habit. So Wait, so it, speaking of for people that don't know, he started again. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. What yep. what was what made you hit that fucking button? I was just like, all right, fine, fine, just do it. Money. Well, yeah, obviously, but I mean, like, no matter how much like pressure I feel like you can get, there's something that's just like you have to like do click in your head. That's just like I have to do it time I have, I have a clock that's kind of ticking ish in my head and i'm like i need to do stuff to help myself out and if i don't the closer and closer i get to time being up the less prepared i will be the more do you stress out and anxious yeah. i'll be so i figured it's just kind of like how i think steve said it earlier where it's like as adults we know that we need to kind of just like not even adults just as people that know that if you do nothing and you need to do something and you know you need to get ready or you need to know you need, you, need, you know you need to prepare and you do nothing you're gonna get you're fucked that's just yeah. kind of what it boils down to they can so just sit there and wait for it you, to come to your hands yeah you do need to work Start playing that lotto yeah right you do need to work you do need you do need to be doing something to help yourself out obviously not like not to say that doing the lottery is bad but like obviously don't do things that are just like I'll get the lottery. It's fine. That's and that's all you're gonna do if you hey, need. I like, may or may not have numbers in the Powerball. I'm just saying. Hey man, for, you know what's funny? Literally today, I was like, I should buy a ticket because I was at, I was there just buying a fucking um, Gatorade, <laughs> and I was like, I saw the number of what it is for the fucking lottery right now. It's like at seven hundred million, and I was just like, I should buy one, dude. But I do. I can do with one. Maybe it's because of Christmas, and I don't know if you guys get them. I got scratchers too. I feel like everybody gets no, a scratcher, scratcher for Christmas. But I know a oh, lot of no? people do. I know. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. So like, it's funny though because I was thinking about the lottery, life shit. So I've been thinking about money a lot. Um. So I was thinking about the lottery, and then I heard my mom talking to our customer about the lottery today, and then talking to their assistant, and then my brother had a scratcher, and he actually wanted to trade it in because he got like a free redo or whatever mm. on it. So I was like, "There's a lot of talk about money," and I, Steve hates it. Richard, just let it let it be. Um, I like to think that like some things there are signs that do pop up and you need to like take advantage of certain things and even if it's not really going to happen it's good to kind of put your mindset in like uh 
Money's on the that. way. That, Money kind of, might it's happen. Very it's very It's manifest. And, it's just manifesting. It's very, yeah. It's very astrology, as as girly about, manif- manifestation. Like, as long as you're not talking about the rocks in your pockets, I don't. I, I could. I don't care for that part. But I mean, I feel like that kind of just falls into the same area. It's just a big no. blanket of mysticism. But um, yeah. So I like you know. I feel like when when there are, when there are signs and when there are things that are very like frequent i feel like that's a good sign and stuff like that and my mom and i funny enough had a conversation about that that kind of thought process recently because she's been listening to a lot of audiobooks like when we're working she's listening to a lot of spiritual self-help books and stuff like that but like Mm -hmm. a lot of things about viewpoints lifestyles stuff like that so we had a conversation of like it was kind of funny because i never thought i had a conversation with my mom about it but she was like lee what do you think is like what do you think about the like belief or the idea of like we're kind of in the matrix but not really like when you die you actually go back to what would be considered a home or back to what you believe is like the place you're from <laughs> oh yeah this, but see, this, this is that's a perfect the thing. segue to oh, that i i do believe in that stuff yeah, i don't believe in all of it the whole the wholeheartedly way just because i'll just say that just because i don't know it's also like when you talk about even in the book she was listening to, even when you're when people that have this kind of philosophy, even when you talk to people that have this philosophy and that do believe it, it's the everybody kind of has a pseudo agreement. And this book mentioned it like, don't you don't really talk about this stuff with people and don't talk to them about it because it's weird. Those people will get you. People, people, well, because no, people think it's weird. People think like when you kind of even use like certain comparisons, like the Matrix, when you die, you kind of like go somewhere else and things of that sort. Of pe- because then people automatically think of that that the Matrix, even without you saying it, it's just kind of it's just an easier way to kind of like give them an idea of what your kind of thought process is like. I, you know what but though, it's like it kind of raises too many eyebrows and people look at you like you've been drinking the punch I a had, little too much. <laughs> I had a conversation of about the Matrix with um one of the residents at the where i work and she's like 80 dude but she's that's my aunt um she's like very uh she was a hippie back in the day and she's just very fucking cool honestly really awesome woman um and i brought up the whole matrix theory and stuff because i forgot what the fuck we were talking about i think it was like about npcs and um i forgot what else but point is she was I brought it up and she was just like, oh, my God, like, that's such a good theory, blah, blah, blah. Like, like, I would I would believe if we were like, uh, you know, that sounds reasonable. And then I started thinking about it. I was like, that really is something that you can't talk to everybody about, because a lot of people no. I think it's a good gauge of people's creativity slash people's open mindedness. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh-huh. To to agree that maybe you know maybe there is something more out there that we don't know about but still somewhat grounded in a this is actually could be possible type of thing i don't know because like for me the matrix theory is like this in a way it could be compared to the same thing as like oh maybe there's a heaven type of thing but i'm like see but that it makes more sense to me seeing where technology is at and where it's headed that there could be a fucking matrix you know thing happening Whereas mm. I believe that a lot more than, you know, Sky Daddy. <laughs> right. See, and that's also why I, I don't Sky ever. Daddy. That's why I also don't ever like really go too hard on like anti-religion because yeah. I feel like what I believe in almost just as crazy. You know, you like believe in your angel numbers. Um, I believe in repetition and, and signs and stuff like that. So kind of, but I don't really like because you know they say like they say like everybody every, everybody's assigned like an angel number. Even, yeah, but I feel like that's just kind of math- way to look it up. It's almost like mathematical shit. I don't know. I I don't. No, <laughs> I never. Well, I never. Well, really angel into numbers it. are angel numbers have to do with like manifestation and stuff like that. Like if you yeah. see them, um, like it's supposed to manifest. Like, like the one I know is like. 444 is like um you're on a good path of life or like the path right. you're on is supposed to be the one that you're like going to i'm like bro if that's my path why am i poor i was like i don't want to be on this path nah. a multi-millionaire one all I, all I know is that there are like certain numbers that stick out to you and stuff like that and i like i like the number eight that's like my thing i like eight i think eight's nice I was, like born on, I was born on the eight six, six, six. um the way i remember i forgot Yo, what anime i was watching and it was like if you cut an eight um from like 
one into the other, like just like uh, straight. It's perfectly symmetrical. It's, it's always symmetrical. Yeah, and I yeah, love I've heard that. that. I don't know before. why that like just becomes That's cool. It scratches a, a part of my brain. Yeah, I, I like really like that that like facts. So I was like, yeah. That's awesome. I, I love eight. Eight's cool. I don't like. And I was born on the eighth. Yeah. Funny enough, before I even like, I didn't make that connection till after. I don't like the whole angel thing, just angel number thing, just because humans are very prone to noticing patterns. Like the mm-hmm. the brain loves patterns, so yeah. anytime you see something rep- repeating, your brain's just gonna fucking eat that shit up. It's like how many times you see, like, uh, look at the clock or just look at anything other that has numbers in it you you'll gloss over it, absolutely everything else but the minute you know you fucking notice one little repeating thing you're just like brain that has to mean something no I don't i'll know. be seeing That's a lot me. of twos <laughs> <laughs> i mean something uh anyway like but yeah what was so your segue what, you said you had a yeah, segue what, or something uh because you're talking about how like in the matrix and stuff yeah. i sent you the tiktok of it rich um that theory that people have right now that's like blowing up it's like what if there is more to our planet than there is what we have right now God, and fuck, it's like i hate you it's like it, it has to do with like people apparently is like haven't discovered anything past antarctica fucking stupid and, <laughs> and Wait, people, what? yeah so apparently the theory is that our earth our earth is much bigger than what people are saying it is like uh, the size wise oh it's some it's stupid be- ass theory it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's fucking it's the same shit it's as so flat earth funny. theory honestly yeah, it, sounds like, it sounds like flat earth because the whole thing is that earth. no because the whole thing is like oh what if antarctica is just a big ass ice wall and that ice walls keep think think attack on titan for my fellow <laughs> so, so I, was, uh, I was reading i was reading the comments and i was like bro he's like are we real life on Zach on Titan? I was like, shut the fuck so up. Stupid. <laughs> oh, but Jesus. I was just fucking laughing because we were talking about this topic. I was like, dude, I can talk but, about this but dumb see, that's shit what now. That's That's stupid. All this out of, stupid shit out of this now. realm that's not grounded in reality. Whereas, like, what the fuck? In the camera. <laughs> They're trying to cover out. the truth. Uh, <laughs> uh, whereas, like, you know, the Matrix theory is somewhat grounded in truth considering where technology is know, heading. Bro. You know, that's all I'm saying. I, th- I, I genuinely don't think we're going to wake up somewhere else. If I wake up in front of Morpheus and fuck listen, it, that's listen, cool, listen. But- well, see, that's why it's like when I say Matrix, I don't really mean like we're plugged into something or whatever. I don't think it's like techno- te- technological. I think Are it's more reincarnation. Kind of. I think it's more spiritual. I think it's more like your spirit, because even even science proves that when a person does die, other than like their bowels or whatever is released, there is a certain amount of weight that is released from a person. And they say that that's the weight of a spirit for the most part. So I people, do bl- don't people get heavier? Like, what about when you're drunk? Like you get heavy as fuck. Yeah, but you're that's not no, i know what lee's talking, talking about, about dying i know what lee's talking <laughs> about but whatever anyway keep going yeah i anyway, just well, believe that that we that the spirit does go somewhere because i don't like it, whether if, even if it's reincarnation i don't think reincarnation starts like that like in the snap of a finger i feel like there's like a stopping point at some point or something i don't know something inside me feels like there, there's like a there's like a train station before you, you get on the train religious? but i mean like I okay that's why hold on See, going down that path this, Going down that path, if there is a train station, who's to say that time works the same way as on Earth? Well, that's the thing. They say say reincarnation has nothing to do with time because you could wake up either later on. But but that's what I'm saying. What if reincarnation is the snap of a finger? Like you appear as some baby in the world or whatever. But what's it called? When you die, your mind thinks you know has this time differently time so differently to, yeah, so yeah to like to like the conscious experience and the snap of a finger but to the soul experience that i'm saying yeah I you kind of believe you could in, be at the train station for like months years for, and for like, centuries whatever yeah then so be yeah, it. yeah there's a theory there's a theory be to, uh, within reincarnation that i've heard where it's like there's a possibility that you've came across like your version of your old self and you didn't even know it because your brain obviously gets you know wow. start mm. from scratch off of that like oh, so it's I, like you could you could you could like because there's so many fucking people in this world. There's so many animals and blah blah, blah that you like. You could have came across it, seen it, seen yourself on TV or whatever the fuck, and you would have no clue that that was that. That's you, and that that leaks into like the concept of like time and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it doesn't do it. So it's like things like that. Mm. But so that anyway. yeah, so that's so that's why like clearly this is like kind of like a pseudo death into my belief system or whatever. I don't even go too deep in it because 
I am aware that it sounds a little goofy, crazy, or out there, or too out there, or too like you might as well just believe in God at that point. You know, like that's no. why I don't give religious no. people too yeah. much of a shit or too much huff and puff because I you have expect, some sort of belief. Because I have a belief system or a belief in something. So I expect people to respect that. So I'm gonna respect yeah, yeah. other people that well, believe in whatever they believe in. As long as you don't tell me I'm going to hell, I deserve to burn <laughs> and I'm sinning or well, whatever the fuck thinks that I you the think I deserve. You ain't. As a- <laughs> sure, but <laughs> there's some people that wrong. believe I deserve an eternal damnation and just straight death. So Wow. Well, and that's all ask, because of some piece of paper and some old ass fucking. But the Pope box said those people that think that said, are wrong. Yeah. He said they're stupid. Great. Thanks. The Pope said you go into heaven. And Didn't the, the Pope, Pope kiss some somebody or something? No, this that was is the, the best the Pope we've ever had. It. The, the Dalai Lama, Lama was being weird with kids. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't you dare like, talk about it? the Pope after he forgave you. <laughs> And now I'm, you're going to hell. Sh- <laughs> now, now you go to I'm just making sure that I got all my creepy religious fi- uh, figures well, ch- uh, on so, p- their P's and Q's. Yeah, you know? this is the best pub we've had, though. <laughs> the dude's cool. He's the people are like, "Hey, he's actually cool." I'm like, <laughs> Clearly, because you know, apparently, I'm not gonna burn hell anymore. No, I was gonna, wow. I was gonna say, as a as a self proclaimed atheist, um, mm-hmm. and. Obviously, I grew up with religion uh, in in my household. I grew. Amen, I'm, I'm technically a confirmed Catholic. Um, I love you. It's just for me when I when I was growing up around the religion. Obviously, like as a kid, like you're like, oh, that's all you can believe in because that's all you're taught. That's all you yeah, know. You're forced yeah. into it. But then you're indoctrinated. Be- I, into I don't religion. know whether it's because of school like a lot of people say that it's like oh school's brainwashing kids or some bullshit right um because of school where like where i'm learning like you know things about science things about the universe about school just chemistry and shit like that it just gives gives you you more perception of, of uh of um what's the word i'm looking for it gives you a better look at yourself i guess it gives you the power of like self realization self self discovery sure. i think that's what that's what school does it, it creates a space that you can discover yourself or start that process right that's what i think so yeah, I mean, yeah. so when i started learning about all of it, that stuff it just kind of led me more to believe like you know what this makes more sense to me than you know these books like talking about some dude that parted a fucking sea into half so that people could walk through Moses. It. Exactly. Or some My some God. fucking 60 year old man or however old he was. Sacrifice the son? No. That built oh. a whole giant ass boat by himself and got two of every animal and threw Who's it on that? there. That's Noah. 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 Like to me that just didn't make as much sense as you know somebody being like Hey. There was a meteorite and it took out, wiped out animals and exactly. the microbes yeah. were put together and, and we evolved. And it's like, that's science. No, but that's why. Yeah, so it's like, how that do makes, you. That makes sense to And him. then you'll be like, how do you and know? Because we have a crater that's right proof. here. We have proof. We have physical proof. And what's it called? We found all these fossils. We have blah, numbers. Blah, blah. We have data. We have all well, these things. How right. do you describe his tomb, though? Huh? How do you prove or what do you. Or, yeah, I mean, you know how there's I like think, in, in, there in Jerusalem, there's 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 Jesus's actual tomb. I think there well, isn't Jesus any dispute that Jesus wasn't real. It's just that the dispute is that Jesus didn't do all these mystical, magical, wonderful things that people claim he did. One to there, one. There is proof that he lived. Like I think there is proof also that Santa Claus was a person at some no, point. No, no, no. Santa didn't... Claus was a no, whole Saint Saint, well, Saint, Saint Nick. Nicholas yes, was yes, a person. Exactly. But, yes, Saint yeah. Nick. Yeah. But that's what I mean. Around him. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Like these people that, did exist. They've just been twisted and for the benefit of. I was like, I'm gonna be real. Corporate America and everybody. Well, yeah, I mean, powerful Santa, enough to uh, Santa, like, Santa, Claus was, Santa Claus was made by fucking Coca Cola. I was boom. like, I was like, they're gonna witch hunt you because you just compared God to Santa Claus. Hey, bro, <laughs> they're both you important know, on Christmas. <laughs> fuck it. When I was a kid, I remember my my, my fucking family. Oh God, can I my. My dad's family had an issue with my brother and I when we were younger that they believed that we didn't understand the true value of Christmas. Oh, the true yeah, you, of Christmas. I remember you telling me. Uh-huh. Yeah, we didn't, they didn't, under, they didn't, they thought we didn't understand it because when we would go over, God forbid, our fucking like six year old, seven year old ass is all hyped for presents and hanging out with their cousins. 
but like not understanding the fact that <laughs> Jesus himself was born again, you know, or whatever the fuck, yeah. like, or got, or just born in born general. That so day, it's yeah. like, yeah, it's like, oh my God, is, sorry. Okay, so, so Jesus, yeah, because of, all I'm saying is that because of that, that led me down this whole path of like, why the fuck do we need religion in the first place? And I started getting, al- along with the teenage, just angst in general you know you start i started thinking anybody who believes in god anybody who believes in any type of religion is a moron idiot who's just you know uh being um hateful for no reason or whatever right so i that's what i took it as for like the longest then when i got older i started realizing a lot more that religion isn't so much or even belief systems in general aren't so much about um deciding what is right and what's wrong in the world like to all i'm saying it's like a coping mechanism a, yeah i was gonna say yeah, it's, like, it it's, it's like it's, it's for, help it's, it's for comfort. people who want to find comfort in what comes after life in the inevitable yeah in the unknowing yeah mm-hmm. and uh i think that's what like i think i don't know i don't remember if i mentioned this on the podcast i think i did where did. I, i've never <laughs> gotten a panic attack or experienced anxiety um like in general or for, well, that, to that, for that feeling spe- that, for that to that like, level reasoning specific no, yeah, to, to that, that to level, level in general never like i've never gotten like shakes i've never gotten like um teary you know or like short of breath because i know that's what happens in a panic attack for a lot of people oh right? okay you've never had like an actual medical panic i've attack. never had yeah exactly. i've never had a panic attack to that extent i've had them before but, but you have anxiety that's different though well that's why but like anxiety starting with that yeah yeah i've never experienced anything like n- that never gone to that point but i've had yeah. like the beginnings of one but i'm my brain kicks in i'm just too wired to right. be like okay well do something like I, do 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 get some help do I've, something I've about never it. done oh. I've never gotten to that point until I started thinking about death a little more and mm. then as a yeah as a kid like that's what I would like freak out about hyper fixate yeah, on them because like no matter how hard I try I couldn't get rid of the feeling in my head but then it's not because of religion or anything I just kind of grew the mindset of I guess kind of like <laughs> leading back to the beginning like let it, it be type it of thing is. it is what it is like for me it's just gotten yeah. to the point where it's like you know what there's no reason for me to worry slash you know be so be hyper fixated on something. something that i can't control that will yeah. happen eventually and, but and so far long like you're just at least just yeah, so so far. hopefully right but well yeah yeah one can be hopeful um but that's all you gotta keep that you know yeah thinking about that so, so you don't just stay in the so, house yeah and then my brain is just more like my brain is just more like just focus on whatever you can control at this point like Like, yeah whatever that's uh, that's my that's my way of living at this point you know to to circle around to let it be I do feel that I do feel I do feel that uh that vibe I always do I think that's kind of like a pseudo resolution for me that I try to do or self practice is not to be so attached and dependent on people yeah. well because my like i think i mentioned on the podcast before my friends to me are family um maybe to maybe not to the extent like of others like some friends are like super close um but even then i still hesitate to say to say that or to even feel like to feel them to that regard because of self thoughts and opinions and feelings towards certain friends and stuff like that so it's like it just complicates things in my brain that make me not want to even deal with it because why even deal with it at all Mm. um it's just going to cause more shit to have to deal with so it's almost a let it be but it i feel like that that's going to be the necessary next step to kind of really fine tune interpersonal relationships with myself and with other people um but that again i feel like that is kind of like a never-ending thing that i'm always having to deal with that i kind of again don't really set resolutions but i do like would like i do like to set short-term goals to deal with things that happen or pop up in my life and sometimes they're reoccurring things and that's also to go i to like prove what i was saying earlier is that i'm the kind of person that's like you fell off the wagon just keep doing it fuck it whatever that's how I am with my own shit. It's like, oh, I tried to do this and I fucked it up or this is what's going on. And um, I'm like, don't have control over this certain situation. Fuck it. It's fine. You you did it. You start, you did it once. You'll do it again. Yeah. 
So you, me, you fell off the wagon, get back on it. And I just me, and I ended up you, doing it. I was like, let me ask you guys this. And this is more of a personal question. We don't have to obviously answer if you don't want to. Like for my my because uh, I was just on the topic with my mom, but I don't even know how we get there. With my mom and I, we have had conversations where I'm like, how did we get here? Um Are you for both of you, like are you are you guys afraid of dying? No. Like is no, no? okay. Cause like I was like I listening That's to right. you and like listening well listening to Lee and talking about his belief like his belief system and like what you believe in what you think like could exist or could coexist or like how how you feel your world like wraps in your head is like that's why I asked you I was like are here's, you afraid of dying here's what I will say the idea of death itself doesn't scare me the idea of dying without having done everything that I wanted to do is not scary. It's just more of like disappointing. a disappointing slash yeah. like uh, just kind of nervous feeling, you know, it's like, oh, man, yeah. I really hope I get there. But and that, that's to say, if I do get there, like if I do end up on my deathbed for whatever reason and I didn't get to do stuff that I didn't that I, you know, wish I had done. I don't think it I will. Is what exactly. It is. I don't think I would carry so much weight to it where I would be like in tears over it. It'd just be more like a thing. Oh, well, you know. Yeah, I think that's the thing too. Is that when I get to that point, man, I hope my ass remembers this feeling of you're gonna die, bitch. You really want to be this upset over it? you? Damn, <laughs> just get yeah, mad ask, when you ask for a lot. Ask for a lot of drugs and just go to sleep. <laughs> oh, go to sleep, bitch. I'd be like, I, I hope, man, future self. For some reason, maybe this, maybe somebody will show us this. Oh. Give the, you ask them to give you the fuck the opioids. Fuck it, whatever. Yeah, just go to sleep, bitch. Take a nap. You deserve it. Oh man, you deserve it. Um, yeah, death. I don't think death really fixed me out. The one thing, same with Richard, is like the one thing that I guess kind of um, rubs me the wrong way about it is not being able. Like, I think the reason why I also think like and believe in the reincarnation, all that stuff, like train stops or whatever, um, is because I feel like. I'm more likely to see the people in this life at some point, you know, yeah. at a stop. I could say hi. I don't know, something like that before choosing the next step. Um, so that's that's nice because I, like I said, friends friends are like family to me, especially the ones that I consider really close friends. So it just kind of sucks having to possibly lose not just one but two, and it's not even like a matter of like my. My wife is is her family's my family. I feel like not to downplay that, but I feel like when you're when you're queer, choosing to choose like the fact that you you have this family and you this is a constant fear or even that reality that they they don't love you or they don't treat you like you wish your family would or you, how a family should or mm -hmm. how they used to. You have you go out of your way and you open yourself up to people and you have to choose and you get to choose those people and you have to choose those people because family is important and it's shown in in nature that you know being in in a in a in a pack, in a group yeah it's it's survival it increases survivability so it I feel like that's just kind of like how we're coded so I feel like that for me is like even double coded. Because I have not one family, but two families. I get that. So that's why for me, the most bummer thing is if I do go and there isn't someone to talk to, if there isn't some bitch to make me <laughs> laugh, if there isn't somebody there to just I don't know, hold my hand, at least that would that that would bum me out if I'm by myself, at, at least at that, that moment. That. But again, but again. Bitch, you're gonna die anyways. Get the drugs. <laughs> Take a nap. Take a nap. If that's what it's gonna boil down to, and that's what's happening, then I hope at least it. Fuck it. It's it's not painful. Fair. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. You know. Or very abrupt. <laughs> if it's abrupt, and I feel nothing great. That it just happens. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'll say either or, because if yeah. I can fucking sense it happening, I know it's gonna happen, and I'm gonna be like, fuck. <laughs> right. but yeah. If it's abrupt or like in painless, yeah, let's do that. Let's go with so this. So be it. So be it. So be it, dude.
just I'll just make, it would be so unfair if it happens and then you're like okay now you gotta carry over all this trauma into the next one you're aware i'd be like what the fuck or it's gonna happen again i'd be so fucking pissed I'd be like no let go of my trauma take it take it away this you sucks. wake up thinking you died i want to do nothing Christ. Know, right this is all this is all a dream we're all gonna wake up in, in fucking hospital beds right <laughs> you now wake up. Just wake up in hospice you wake up it was a coma <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of us old as shit. Mm-hmm. Lee is like, you dumbass died too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I would like to think a little bit more positively. We're waking up in nap time and we're like kids again and be like, oh my god. Did you have the holy shit? We're five! <laughs> Ew. Richard no corner eating his boogers. Hell no, oh. I was never that kid. <laughs> Little Richard. Hell no, I was never that kid. Oh my kid. god. I wonder if that's been a show. I feel like I'd watch the three. I'd watch a show about the three of us becoming kids again and having our same personalities, but as children, that'd be funny. I think that'd be a funny, <laughs> well, a the funny show. We have now as adults. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. As kids, and that'd be hilarious. As Richard being a little musically talented, emotionally fucking scarred five year old. Steve being a little baby juice head. That's like. <laughs> A little, 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 a smosh babies dude hell no that's <laughs> us that's us we're smosh babies in the making baby okay Jesus. um i guess we have but time for one more thing yes uh what we got i don't know i mean damn i was like we got really deep into we like did a little bit the existence of our beings which i mean is well, good okay, well, 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 i mean it's good you yeah. didn't answer though would you, how Oh yeah, how do you feel about you, death? So how do you feel about death? There you go. I'm, I was trying to figure out how to word it. I'm not afraid of it. I mean, I think I think because it was exposed to me at such a young age, I don't um I don't necessarily fear it. Hell I yeah, really, dude. I, I really don't have that mindset that like I'm gonna like I'm gonna die and like I'm not gonna be able to get everything completed. I think it's like when I go, I go no matter what. My only thing is like I hope that I don't go before my parents. Because there's something very like Ugh. there's something very sad about like a parent having to bury their own kid. It's like you're so far apart in life and it's like you didn't get to experience like, yeah, sure. Like I think of my parents, I'm like like my mom was telling me how like the reason why she's so big on Christmas is because when she was younger, like she never got to experience Christmas. Mm. Like Christmas wasn't a thing when when she was coming up. Like it wasn't an actual thing in her household or anywhere because they're like where she's originally from, it's dirt poor. Mm. um so that's why she's so big on that and it's like she got to experience all these things and experiencing life and experiencing being a mother and like you know like seeing her kids grow up and it's like there's like something very sad about like knowing that like damn like what if i was to go before my parents like i wouldn't want to leave that kind of pain to them i think that's that's why that's my only fear and like this motherfucker i think that's why i'm so like um I don't want to feel anything or like think of anything. I just want to like have it be instant. Cause if I have uh, the opportunity or that moment to like even think about what's going on and I mean, what I'm leaving behind, that would fuck me up. I don't think I could think of those things when I'm like, if I'm no, I'm going to die. Like I wouldn't want to, like that's such a shitty way to like, that's, know why. You're going. that's why it's like, God, I hope when it happens, when it does happen and I wake up, it's just a matter of like, it, it's a matter of fact, I think it's not a matter of how I'm feeling. I think it depends you know? how old you are. Because I'm going to yeah. say this. When my dad died, before he died, he had a couple of episodes where we thought that that might be it, where he thought it might be it. And he straight up talked to my mom, like where he mm-hmm. was just saying, like, yeah, like I started thinking about like, you know, her and the mm-hmm. kids, like life like after us, me. the kids, um, just thinking like, oh, like, you know kind of thinking of like would they be okay and mm. i won't say like what he said because that's very that's personal personal yeah. shit. That's private yeah but all i will say is that i think at the end of it he definitely came out with a sense of like it's okay type of thing like i did good yeah <laughs> i'm gonna cry stop god damn it <laughs> oh god ew but no i'm not crying <laughs> on the podcast on the on the episode on the, on the year <laughs> holy shit 
Ugh. I mean, but um, yeah, no, but I any, was like, all I was just going to say is that I, with age, I think it just, you know, you just kind of get to reflect a little bit. And then obviously when you're younger, you kind of think about it a lot more because like, again, you just didn't have as much time. Um, But I think that's like just something so much that possibilities. With, yeah, but that's just with age. It'll just you'll find out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I think you'll be OK sense, with yeah. it. Yeah. I was going to say, if I think. Also working at the mortuary for myself, really, man, does that shit set you, set your, like, your viewpoint of, like, anybody can go at any fucking time, no matter well, yeah. what, life's a bitch. I think people such. forget, people forget The fact forget that you that made that it this mindset. far, bitch, man, consider yourself part of the lucky few, because yeah. a lot of people are born every day, and a lot of people die every day, so consider yourself yeah. lucky That's to be saying. even like, going like, this people far. Really, people do forget that, that Damn. part of, that part of life, you know, it's like, I'm gonna bring People it. Come and go. I'm gonna bring it to a really old throwback. I forgot what episode we said it, but we're like, bro, remember when uh fucking China just sent a fucking rocket or something like that into <laughs> space, and they lost track of where it was, and it was yeah. like, hey, that thing could land on top of you at any fucking minute or second. You never know. <laughs> true. <laughs> That's true. That shit was scary. <laughs> I was like, hey, I forgot what followed you. I forgot where it landed, but luckily it didn't hurt anybody. Oh, but I was see, just like, it, it landed in the water. Somewhere. No, no, no. It landed in on Earth. It landed it somewhere, but it was just like a deserted part. <laughs> Good old oh, <no>. Kentucky. <laughs> Somebody's backyard. There's a dead cow somewhere. Just a fucking trying to pay good for that fucking boy. There, you know there was a fucking ant colony, bro. That was just colony. like working their little butts off. Oh. <laughs> something did. Hey, something did die when that landed. By the oh, way, something so. something did something die. Died. So again, yeah, of course, bacteria was fucking cut on consider, fire. Consider yourselves lucky for not being the thing that died. Happy New Year, everybody! Happy New Year! Um, Happy New Year! <laughs> Jesus! Oh my God! Jesus! Send us out. But with that being said, as we said, Happy New Year's, guys. Hope you guys had a good one. I hope uh, if you do believe in resolutions, if you do believe in uh, celebrating New Year's under the table, eating your twelve fucking grapes, whatever, whatever it is that you guys believe is going to bring you happiness into the new year. As happy, corny as that sounds to a lot of people, luck, romance, and success. You know, or whatever, or just another good day. Fuck it for some people. That's more than enough. Um, you know, hope you guys get all that going. Hope you guys uh, do stick to your whatever resolutions, if you have any. As for us, our only resolution, I think, would be that we hopefully continue doing this and um, keep making you guys laugh. And sometimes we get deep. Sometimes we don't. I'm a manifest. Um, <clears throat> I hope that we grow this channel a lot bigger. Yeah, all I'm I hope that you guys Boom. see. I hope you guys see a lot more content, a lot newer content from no, us. We will. We will. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, yes. yeah, we will. And, and the yeah, the energy you put into it. We'll yeah, get yeah, this channel will. bigger. We'll be seeing more confident from. I will confident. have content. <laughs> from We're us. gonna get more confident for you. <laughs> confident, <laughs> confident. <laughs> if we get any more content from us, you guys will be growing this channel and everybody that's here will be a part of it you guys get to watch that that'd yeah, be fun yeah that will so we, be fun yeah so we will we do appreciate you guys always thanks for sticking another whole fucking year with us um yeah sometimes i'm like damn we really do a Man, lot like, we got through a year it was a it was a funky one fuck 2023 you suck bitch. i don't know about that oh hey, you like, had you had your moments of greatness and you had your moments of just Oh, I hate yeah. you. Yeah. But I'll agree to that. Still agree made to that. it. Still made it. Still made yeah, it. I was like, I'm, still I'm, made it. Um, just by sending us out. If you guys haven't followed our socials, follow our socials. Um, there's always <laughs> new content coming out for all of us. I'm streaming again. He is streaming, He's streaming. again. He's streaming. Uh, Check me out. More Don't know the schedule. If I'm live, I'm live. Hit, and a, it'll hit be a follow, turn your notifications so you know when he's live. Yeah, that's it. That's all I can give you at least yeah. two times a week. At um, the very least. Yeah, uh, and then we lead into our, your guys' final regards and what if you guys are diving into any new music or shit that's just on replay. Um, Start with Lee. I watched the so Barbie eager. movie with Mikey. Wayne. That's why I'm really it? eager. I, I watched it with either. Mikey. I, haven't, I didn't see it. I haven't seen it. Um, Do you like it? It was, honestly, nobody told me, and I'll tell you guys and people here um, that are listening to us. Um, you should cry. It was it was very it was very different. I wasn't expecting it to be very like real life. Like, n not real life, but it was it was like real life mixed with like very goofy fucking like 
beats or whatever. Yeah. Like it, ha- it, it was very silly. That's what it, it was very silly. And I wasn't expecting it to be Barbie silly. Um, it is very much for the girls. And I don't mean girls as in a hey, bitch or even like gals. I really mean girls, uh, women, it's very uh, the, empowering. the young, the young female demographic for sure. Because it's, I think it's very important for women to watch that and understand it and uh, absorb it. Because it was really good. And I did cry a couple of times. I had like maybe two good tier moments, but like the very ending, uh, I think everybody agrees when Billie Eilish kicks in, man, the tears kick in too. She was nice. So um, I watched that. And then uh, Christmas was cool. I got a couple things. I got a penis uh, emerald rock or rock, and I got a kitty rock for my cousin and this little yin yang bracelet thing. Well, it's a necklace, but change as well. The bracelet. A penis so, emerald rock? Yeah, one of those. Like, Are you going to wear know, it? Uh, it's like just a desk decoration. I'd have to go into my like That's fine. Yeah. Christmas bag and find I'm not doing all that. We'll but, see. Yeah, so sooner or later. It's cute. <laughs> You'll see it on the next episode, maybe, if I remember. But um, so that was cool. Um, recommendations. I think I actually do have new music. Um, yeah, I actually do. Yeah, I have um, Screw Time by Claire Rossencrans. Uh, Claire C A C L A I R E uh, A I R. Yeah, E. And then last name R O S I N K R A N Z. Just screw type time. in Screw Times and then the th- yeah, the pop- Claire. It's like the only song with that name. So. I like Claire. She's actually pretty good. I've recommended her her songs before. It's very poppy, but the other song I recommended from her was Frankenstein. That's really good. It's one of my favorite ones from her. So, uh, yeah. So, Screw Time. It's it's cool. I like it. It's a little it's a little Grimes meets Claro with pop, a little bit more pop. So, oh yeah, this is the one that Richard said sounds a lot like Claro. Yeah. <clears throat> um. No, it was very Ol- Olivia Rodriguez. Rodrigo. Rodrigo. I, I said Rod, I almost said Rodriguez today too. It was giving Sorry. me little Phoenix vibes. A little bit. Um and then the other song Passion is vibes. Uh Not My Fault Um with Megan the Stallion. It's Renee Rap featuring Meg the Stallion. Um Not My Fault. It's uh, a new song um that's gonna be on Mean Girls. And honestly, I like it. It's good. It's got a little like I'm not it's watching that. It. I I'm I am I am because apparently I let it, them ruin it. it is going to be no because it's based off of the the musical the musical that's been on Broadway apparently it's a, it's a musical movie it's not ba- it's not even based off of like the actual one so I think it's going to be basing it off of whatever the musicals put on Broadway so I, I just don't like musicals like nobody's this. but that's yeah, the thing is that nobody uh-huh. nobody I loved Glee so but hey you know like the so no way yeah. <laughs> but, um i love renee rap even before knowing it was a musical i like her music i've recommended her music on here before snow angel her last album was fucking killer and she's a great singer broadway trained pretty as hell and super funny as fuck i love her so i'm really excited for the movie but yeah not my fault by meg the stallion or renee rap feature meg the stallion and screw time by claire um rousing crans that's my recommendation and final regards yeah basically everything steve said honestly what the fuck steve said we could have ended it there we i'm surprised have. we did I, recommendations yeah, i'm not gonna lie it was really good though either way i do agree though happy holidays everybody uh we made it through another year like i said can't believe we made it through it um still going and still going through 2024 still gonna be going through 2025 i don't even know if we'll make it that far but hey we made it this far so <laughs> Um, short term goals. As, <laughs> oh, as for the fuck you for this episode, fuck you to all the transplants that came back to LA. Oh, fact, bro. The traffic is terrible, you guys, compared to like what it was like at surprised? least a couple days. No, I'm not. I'm just oh, saying I am. it's bad. I am not. Why did you come back it's, so early? It's, ju- <laughs> it's just so like it's so just it's very prolific, honestly. Seeing the difference because I feel like more and more people are coming here every year, so the drive is just getting worse and worse and worse. So yeah, seeing everybody how empty it was even during the holidays in LA goes to show how many of you need to stay the fuck in Kentucky, Idaho, Minnesota, wherever the fuck you're from. Go back, fuck you, leave us alone. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. That's All right. it for me. Cool. 
Anyway, uh, <laughs> I, I like how fuck he's been like your little theme lately. That's what he said. He said he was going to start doing that. And you know what? People just need it. It's true. Uh, I got two songs. Don't care. <laughs> First one is called I Walk This Earth All By Myself by Ecstasy. It's very emo. It's very um, goth, but more new age, I guess I would call it like this current generation. Um, have I heard a song from him before? I Walk This Earth All By Myself by Oh, ex- I know this song. Ex- Stacey. Yeah. Okay, Ecstasy. Yeah. Ex- oh, yeah, yeah, I've heard this one. Yeah, it's not, like, abstract or anything, but it's just, you know. I heard it, and I was just like, oh, I like a little, little bop. Yeah. Little- it's popped up on my TikTok, too. Mm-hmm. People have, like, tried to hype them up. It's very, like, like I said, goth, emo, sad boy type of lifting. But- I could... I could go on my like New Year's walk or whatever. Exactly. I don't know if you guys ever have this moment no. during like a late night walk on New Year's or like when you're going out, you just kind of need to be on your own for a little bit. This is that kind of song yeah, you could, exactly. I could have that moment with. That's a good song. And then second song is called Water Your Garden by Magic City Hippies with <laughs> Maya. I want to make garden. Sorry. <laughs> Which, Water the garden. It's like, um, it reminded me of this whole like, uh, topic i guess i would call it mindset same thing with the let them type of mindset where it's take care of your garden first if you if you want to think about like your mind your mental health slash your life in general as a garden take care of your garden water your garden before you care you even try to deal with somebody else you know so uh that being said like like lee like steve said how happy new year hope you guys have a great one. Um, what's it called? You know, uh, what what else can I say that you did that he didn't say? Honestly, it's like just I hope you guys have a had a good twenty twenty three. Somewhat, I hope you have a better twenty twenty four. Um, there's a quote by Tame Impala. Uh, <laughs> All right, uh, hey man, go for where it. Where it's just like no matter what happens, strictly speaking, you're still on track. You have your whole life. Okay, I like that one. Yeah. Mm. All right. I guess he's cool. Right. <laughs> and then uh, uh, I just have I have I just have two songs uh I'll recommend real quick. Um uh Real Love. Uh it's the three the 33 Below remix, uh the Marion Garrix one with 33 Below. And then Wait, what? it's it's okay. it's EDM. Got it. Yeah. Ryan Garrix and Loi Loiso? And? Yeah, and 33 okay, Below. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah. So this is that one. Steve. Mm. Thor. Thor! Lucky. I'm tired. Miso! He's outside. <laughs> Richard! <laughs> and Lee. Um, and then another song would be uh, Saving Up by Dom Dalla. Dom Dolla. Yeah. D O M D O L L A. I like this one. Yeah. This one's cool. This is what. Very. <gasps> Ooh, I like the art. Me too. Yeah. This is what you lead in the new year with. You know. it, this is after the. Well, this after this. <laughs> huh? Are you building up? You're building up to midnight from there. Mm. And then. Uh... <laughs> Okay. So you've had too many drinks and you're just like, fuck it, it is what it is. <laughs> and you're like, this is the one I look at your phone. <laughs> Dope. Just- he hasn't replied. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. The hell? I hate uh, you. That's too real. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this is him in a dim lit room. <laughs> <laughs> no, just me dancing with my drink in my hand, just like. And you're like, Fuck that ah, bitch! And then you hear your phone ring and it's like, oh shit! It's like, oh, I'm kidding. Kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's just one. It's just one of us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's honestly, it's usually Jazz and just saying, "Happy New Year!" Happy New Year! Happy New Year. I'm like, oh, Happy New Year's. <laughs> Shaking my hand. But that being said, guys, we appreciate you. We love you, and from us to you guys, Happy New Year. Bye. Peace. Bye. Choo, 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 See you choo, next choo, year. Choo, choo.
<laughs> that's so stupid. I hate that shit so much. I, know, I did it on purpose. I hear it at work all the time. We were so close. I'm like, I hope, I hope you don't.